Barbering is a good profession. It's, uh, it's noble, it's honest, um, the environment is comfortable to work in. And so I'd say if it's something that you're pursuing or looking to pursue, I think it's a great profession to be in. I like the lifestyle, I like the, the type of work it is, meeting people constantly. I love the, the creative aspect of it. A uh, new challenge every time someone sits in my chair. Well, this week, uh, in about three days, I met somebody from New Zealand, somebody from Russia, and somebody from Canada, and, and uh, you just meet some very interesting people. It's interesting, entertaining. You get people telling you stories about war stories, criminal stories, as far as when they're engaged in combat. It's just interesting. You never know who you're going to have in your chair. I wanted to become a barber for a few reasons. One, I wanted to be my own boss. I was in school, I was planning on going to into the medical field. And uh, after years of, of planning on it, thinking it was the right thing for me, it, it dawned on me that I didn't want that lifestyle. I didn't want to be on call. I just wanted to do my thing, eight to five, go home, hang out with my family. And uh, I think barbering offers that. I had a good career as a nuclear uh, decontamination specialist, basically a nuclear janitor. Uh, but I was traveling so much that I didn't have a social life. So I was really lacking that part of my life. Now I can pursue social life, I can uh, earn a good income and uh, have fun doing it, so yeah. The advantage of coming specifically to this school is we are unlike any other school out there. There's two major things that set us apart from any other school. Number one is the type of instruction, the type of training that we provide cannot be found anywhere. We feature Master Barber Tim Height. He's world trained. He probably has more education, more training than anyone else alive. All of our instructors are very seasoned. They've been doing this for a long time. In fact, it's not common to find an instructor here that just got a license three years ago like you would at a cosmetology school. And so we feature the type of instruction you can't find anywhere else. The second thing is, is we really push for our students to have hands-on experience. What that means is a lot of haircuts. We want them to have hundreds of haircuts while they're here so when they leave, they're ready to go. They don't have to be trained. They don't have to have this big learning curve. They can handle anything that comes in the door because they've already experienced it. I first met with Richard, uh, which was awesome. He's very motivating. And he, he, he said, you can do this, Danny. It, you, can, you can come, you can learn traditional barbering. You can learn how to taper. You can learn how to shave. And you can make it whatever you want to make it. The people there, from the administrators that run the front end and the office side of the school to the trainers. I mean, Mr. Height, there's not a finer man on the planet. I learned as much about who I want to be as a human being from him as I did from, from barbering. And trying to interpret what I, what I took away from that first lecture with Mr. Height. Was, that's what he means by we're, we're trying to train barbers here, not just hair cutters. They gave me the basic know-how know to become a barber. And after you're out of school for a while, then you build upon those basic techniques that you learned. What I liked, I think, most about my experience at barber school was the way they try and run it like a barber shop runs. Um, so by the time you're through with barber school, I mean, I, I think literally I had done six, seven hundred haircuts before I even graduated before even testing for a license. I enjoyed going to barber school every day. When I graduated, I was prepared to, to work in a shop as far as my time and uh, the types of haircuts. I felt confident from day one cutting anybody's hair. By the time you've hit that six months, you're ready to go and you're ready to give people good haircuts. It's one of the only places in Salt Lake that, or even in Utah, is uh, actually training people to cut hair the way barbers traditionally cut hair. So. The skill set that they have at the barber school is uh, ideal for me to, to bring into the shop and, and they're usually all ready to go right from the beginning. They've, they've learned the right techniques to cut and so it's been a good resource for me to hire from. When I first started there I didn't know how to cut hair at all. I've never cut hair in my life and I have learned very well. I mean as you can see I have my own shop and it's doing very well so I loved it. Owning my own shop is a big deal because I get to decide how my customers are treated and based on the, the experience that I had before that, 
uh, and Mr. Height's kind of golden rule barbering. If you wouldn't like somebody doing it to you, don't do it to them. It's, it's just very satisfying to be the one to make the decision and what's good enough and what's not good enough for my customers. Anybody wanting to go to a barber school, the most important thing is to be able to cut hair. And at the barber school, you don't have to worry about those who are teaching you because they have the skills. I would definitely recommend it. I think if you are going to go to barber school, then the barber school out in McVale is the best one to go to. Well, when you find somebody that goes from dead end job or they clock in and out and they hate their job, and all of a sudden they find something that they really enjoy, barbering. It changes their world. Their whole life is just drastically different. How has barbering changed my life? Oh. Barbering has changed my life. Um, I'm a single parent. It has given me, oh, it's given me the opportunity to provide for my son, which the shop is named after. Um, it's given me confidence. It's given me so many things, more than just having a gentleman sit in my chair for 20, 30, 40 minutes and give my hair cut and shaves. I have made friends. It's really, honestly changed my life, the direction of my life. I hated my job. I hated waking up every day, oh, I have to go to work, I have to find somebody to watch my kids, or my kids are sick, I can't bring them to what, you know, I have to call in. And it's completely different now because I love coming to work because for me it's not work anymore. It's just, you know, I come hang out with friends and um, I bring my kids. I mean, most of the day they're at school, but um, when they get out of school they just come and hang out with me. So I like that, that I get to spend time with my kids. Well, I'm married and I've got a kid on the way. And already I can tell that I love my job and I'm going to love my lifestyle. When I come home from work, I, I love telling my wife about the haircuts I did, the people I met, the things I learned. I like coming to work and not feeling like I have a, I guess a job per se to do. I, I hang out with my friends all day. I went to school with most of the guys that work here, so it's nice to have some friends and uh, you know, bring home a pretty decent paycheck at the end of each week. Give it a try. For six months, I don't know of anything else in, in, in a short amount of time that you can make as much money or have the potential to earn as much money as you can as a barber. I went to college, I spent a lot of money and I look at some of these barbers and what the opportunity is for them to make and it's absolutely crazy. I think it's the best investment I've made 